In this video, I'll show you how to make a rating component in Angular, such as this. When you click a star, it changes its color, meaning that the rating has increased. If you click it again, it turns black, meaning that the rating has decreased. You might have seen this type of view at many shopping or food ordering sites or mobile apps where they ask you to rate their service. For this, we need to understand the concept of class binding in Angular. Using class binding, we can add CSS classes to an element dynamically based on some condition. If the condition is true, the class is added. If the condition is false, the class is not added. Let me show you. First open the command prompt, go to the application folder and type command ng space serve so that the application is up and running. Create a span with classes alert and alert hyphen info. With class binding, we add a class as class dot class name and bind it to a property of a component class. Now let's create this property and set it to true. Go to the browser, right click the span, inspect. See, the class is added. Back to VS Code. Change the property to false. Save. Go to the browser. See? The class is gone. Remember that the condition here should evaluate to either true or false. For example, if we modify this condition as count equal to equal to 5. Create a property count in component class and initialize it to 5. Now this condition is true. Back to the browser. See the class has been added. Now you can change the value of count property and try the result. Now when we understand class binding, let's go back and create a rating component that I showed you earlier. I'll remove all this code over here and start fresh. Create a div with classes alert, space, alert, hyphen, danger with a message. All these are bootstrap classes. To learn what is Bootstrap and how to add Bootstrap to an Angular application, watch the previous video. You can find the link in the video description. Now create a span with classes fa, fa hyphen star. This will create a star icon on the browser. These classes belong to Font Awesome library. This is a library which has many predefined icons that you can add directly to your application. In order to add this library to the application, just add its URL in the application's style.css file, like this. Back to the browser, the star has been created. Also add a class fa-2x to the span. This is for increasing the size of the star. Again back to the browser, size of the star is larger than before. At this time, nothing will happen if you click over it. Now let's add the rating functionality. When we click on the star, we have to change its color. And if we click it again, remove that color. First of all, create a class that changes the background color. Name it as rate and add a property color with a value orange to this class. Now we need to add this class to the span when it is clicked once and remove it when the span is clicked again. Using class binding that we saw earlier, bind this class to a property is rated. Create this property in the component class and assign it to false. When this property is true, the class will be added. If the property becomes false, the class will be removed. Now we need to change this property when the span is clicked. Bind a click event to the span and assign it to a function. Create this click event handler function in the component class. This function will just reverse the value of is rated property. Back to the browser. Click the star. It becomes yellow. Click again. Comes back to its original form. That is all for this video. Like and share if you learned something from it. And subscribe for latest video notifications.